Hello guys, and welcome back to episode 6 of season 6. I'd like to welcome our guest news anchor, Jackson. You may recognize his beautiful singing voice from Let's Rock Ramblers. Thanks, Julia. It is a pleasure to be here. Nothing can compare to my singing, but let's see who's singing this time on Let's Rock Ramblers. Great singing, everyone. Recently, our outing club went rock climbing at UMaine, and they had a lot of fun. Soon, they'll be having a camping trip at Eustis. If you're interested, you can contact Miss Hubert for more information. Also, we have a new club joining us called Quiz Bowl. The Quiz Bowl team will be attending the Maine State Quiz Bowl at Beach College on March 25th. Sounds very fun. One Axe this past weekend won runner-up. Jason Casper won all cast for acting and Joseph won for sound. Congratulations, guys. Oh, remember that sticker sheets to support Mrs. D are still being sold. All the money is going to the Harold Alphonse Center for Cancer Care in Mrs. D's name. Each sheet costs $5. See Ms. Shaw to buy yours. With talking about one of our lovely teachers, let's see how the rest of them are doing on Teacher Tidbits. Welcome to Teacher Tidbits. Today we're going to be teaching some tidbits. Dude, that is so embarrassing. Who is John Brown? Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. That's it, Ramblers. <laughs> Mr. McCarthy, give me something funny to say. This is a video. Mr. Dean. Yes. Mr. Dean, can we please see your best dance move? My best dance move? Yes. Okay, right now. Let's see if I got it. Oh, yes, he's getting it into it. Like this. Oh! 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 Oh my god. Mr. There you Dean, go, that's right crazy. There. Oh, yeah. Snap. Can you report on the incident that happened at Dunkin' Donuts this morning? Honestly, I think that that was an outrage because who the heck does not take walk ins in the morning? It's the most important time of the day for Dunkin'. Yeah. Outrage. Excuse me? Yes. Are you guys hiring? Because I make a mean bowl of cereal. I think we're all right right now, but that would not keep you in mind. We gotta run the big teeth. We gotta run the big teeth. I'm gas. I'm gas. How's it going? Life advice for all the high school Winthrop kids. Running's a skill. You just need to practice. No, like something actually that will be useful in life. Running? Hola, ¿qué tal estás? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien, gracias. De nada. Can you teach me how to untie a knot? Sure. So you push it in to loosen it. <laughs> push it in. I was missing that last time. Okay. You got it. Okay. You have no idea how much this has helped me. Really? Guys, what's the tea? What are we talking about? My new student. Look at that. So like out of 10, how do you feel about my beautiful beard? You're beautiful. Is there a beard there? Boom, I would drop the mic, but I already did that. James managed to actually be a part of this episode in some way. Why is he gone? He's racing in indoor nationals in Virginia this week. We wish him the best of luck. Let's hear more about sports with the sports desk. Welcome back to sports. When a sports have ended, let's see how it went. For Nordic skiing, everyone had strong races in both NBCs and states. The girls placed fifth out of the ten schools at States with only two skiers. They are a small but successful team and they're looking for members to join next year. Congrats. We also want to give a shout out to Joshua Ellis who has been doing a great job on our unified team. He scored 30 points in his last game. Way to go Josh. The girls basketball team was able to advance to the Civic Center and had a very tough game against Old Orchard. Congrats girls and we're proud of you. Several members from our track team have gone and competed with St. Dom's indoor this season. They did a great job and came home with a ring. Way to be, guys. Congrats again to our winner athletes. See you next time. Thanks, guys. For any students who are looking for community service hours, you can contact Guidance or check out Tyler and Julia's Helping Hands website to earn more hours. Soon should note that quarter three will be ending in a couple of weeks. We'd also like to congratulate everyone for participating in the Alice training. With all this talk about our students, let's see how they're doing on student techniques. Give us a fit check. Catch it, firefighting. <laughs> What's your biggest pet peeve? People coming up and putting a microphone in front of me. <laughs> Feeling about the upcoming episode. I hope we get 500 subs. Well, there's a rumor that a mullet may be in my future if we get to 500 subs. So get to 500. You heard it here. What is your favorite chess move? Oh. Favorite chess move? 
That's difficult. Well, there's no favorite chest move. You have to go with your system. Fried liver is definitely a good one. You, you bring out your knife. It's basically the Italian game, but you're aggressive with the knife. What song are you listening to? Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. Ooh. It's one song, y'all. If you played baseball, what would your walkout song be? <laughs> the Burger King theme song, I guess. Whopper, 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 Junior, Double, Triple, Whopper, from Go Taste with Perfect Toppers, I Rule This Day. Let us make a pickle ketchup, it's okay if I don't want that muscle, or bacon, Whopper, any Whopper, my way. Wow. That's valid. Oh. Jesus. He scares me a little bit. Yeah. Who is your favorite Super Mario character? Luigi. Good answer. What are you building? A shed and a cabinet thingy. What, what's the cabinet thingy for? What are you going to put in it? Cornhole bags. What percent Irish are you? I don't know. I have no clue what I am. My grandfather's adopted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the last name Wagner comes from. I got no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Nicki Minaj or Megan Thee Stallion? Oh, Megan. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see your Irish jig. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty impressive. What percent Irish are you? At least 37. What are you listening to? I'm not listening to anything right now. Ask me a better question, you guys. What about the colored, the colored ones versus the extra cheddar ones? The extra cheddar is bad. I don't like the dust. That's just, this is gross. But I do like Takis. That I'll make the exception for. What are you watching, Skylar? Oh, I'm watching. I'm watching. Beyblades. Those Which are, one are you betting on here? I think I'm going for the red one. I think the yellow one looks pretty, pretty solid, actually. Yeah, I like the yellow design. Oh. Yes. Those oh. are just. Oh. I was right. Okay. Let's go. Ticket, ten dollars. You gotta snap it. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> ten dollars. Yes, ten dollars. <laughs> true. This is true. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's why you take Apple Pay. <laughs> Wait, Caitlyn's bra? Are you dating Caitlyn? No, no. <laughs> Who's Caitlyn? Who's Caitlyn? Thanks, girls. Congratulations, star reporter Sophie, for winning two gold keys and four silver keys at the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. This past Saturday, she was awarded at the Maine College of Art and Design, where she was also recognized for winning second place in the Congressional Art Awards for District 1 for her piece, Ramen with My Dad. Her work will be displayed in Augusta in state offices. Pop off, Sophie. Let's also see what's popping. Good morning, Ramblers. I'm Morgan, and welcome to What's Popping. I would like to introduce my new co-host, Bella Littler. Thank you, Morgan. I'm happy to be joining. As you know, the whole school voted on their favorite short film that they made in video production. There can only be one winner, though. Drum roll, please. The winner is Don't Trust the Dentist. I really liked that short film. All of them were really great, though. Yeah, you could tell that each group put a lot of work in. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Libby, Lauren, Sammy, Charlotte, Drake, Michelle, Mr. Fecto, James, and Brock. Let's talk about some more of the new pop culture news. Okay, Morgan Wallen returns to number one to this year's biggest debut. Morgan Wallen's One Thing at a Time skyrocketed to number one on the album's chart, scoring the biggest opening week numbers of 2023 for any album, by units in the fifth largest streaming week over. Wow, that is very impressive. Also, as you know, season three of Outer Banks just came out. I hope it's as good as the last two. Nice. <laughs> well, that will wrap it up for this segment of What's Poppin'. Goodbye, Ramblers, and catch us next time. Thank you, Bella and Morgan. Let's turn things to Hidden Gems to see what movie or show they recommended this episode. Welcome to our second episode of Hidden Gems. We're happy to see you. Today's episode is on, graphic, is on a graphic novel series that has recently been turned into a Netflix show, Heartstopper. Heartstopper, a graphic novel by Alice Oseman, is a romantic coming-of-age story that follows Charlie Spring and Nick Nelson. The two boys must navigate school, friendships, and romance, and in this fun series. 
Park Stalper is a great representation of the LGBTQ plus community as it features gay, lesbian, and transgender characters. One of my favorite quotes is, do you ever feel like you're only doing things because everyone else is, and you're scared to change or do something that might confuse or surprise people? Your real, pass your real personality has been like buried inside you for a really long time. Nice. One of my favorite quotes is, when I was in school, I thought that hiding from it all was safer, easier, but sometimes the loneliness was just as bad. Don't let anyone make you feel like you have to disappear. That's a great one, too. Heartstopper is available on Netflix, and the first two books can be found in our very own library. Check out our display on the rotunda, or ask the civil rights team member for more information. Thank you all for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. I love Heartstopper. It's a great show. Let's see how he's doing on Dusty Dave. Welcome back to another episode of Dusty Dave. David, what are we doing today? Today we're going to be doing some Nordic skiing. Hi, I'm Phoebe. I ski. What? See the beautiful form from David. Oh, is that appropriate in a race? No. Slash people. Um, if no one's listening. So every time you bring your poles up, when you glide on one ski, you pull with your poles like this. Yeah. Glide. No clue. <laughs> David Bud, you're not supposed to go backwards. <laughs> Those poor skis. <laughs> Way to be, David, that's impressive. <laughs> Fishing. Yeah, this ain't gonna work, Chief. Ain't happening, Chief. This sucks. <laughs> I, f I am scared for my life and my manhood. <laughs> you need a hand up. A piece? Oh, please, please, please. <laughs> it looks like a baby bird. <laughs> just broken wings. Just trying to make it up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get some more power on these flats. Use a, a different technique, it's called V2. Yeah, but all one switch. So I glide, and I glide on the other side. Whoa. Way to be, David. Oh, never mind. We're gonna learn how to do a nice tuck now. Just gotta get a good position so you get the most speed coming down the hill. Look at the speed he's got coming down this hill. Absolutely unbelievable. We respect women on Dusty Day, Tyler, don't you forget. All right, that's Dusty Day for y'all. i just like to say thank y'all for allowing me to come out here. This was fun. I like snow, so that was nice. To be on the team, you kind of got to have a hype song. So, Dusty, what's your hype song? Who Made Who by ACDC. No, I'd probably have to say uh, I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. Uh, the song really gets me going is Man in the Box by Alice in Chains. Do you have a hype song, camera boy? Also, Kemi, come on, you gotta have a hype song. All right, that's Dusty Day for it. <laughs> for you. <laughs> I hope he's okay after all those falls. Yeah, me too. I'm tired of slipping on ice. When's it gonna start warming up? Maybe the weather will know. <laughs>
What? Our snow day got canceled? Chris isn't gonna like this. Thanks boys. There's a brand new arts and humanity tonight that will be happening within the high school and middle school in April where everyone within the community can attend. We have so many talented artists here at our school like Caitlin Whitney. I heard she's doing fedora facts. Really? Let's check it out. As a sign of acknowledgement, greeting and affection, cats will chirp, which is a higher tone meow. Wow, that was really interesting. Before we end this episode, we'd like to remind students that next week is March Madness. On Monday, it will be Sports Day, so show off your favorite sports teams. Tuesday will be Adam Sandler Day, Wednesday is Neon Day, Thursday is Throwback, and Friday will be Class Color Day. Seniors have white, juniors have black, sophomores have green, and freshmen have blue. On Wednesday, March 22nd, there will be a hallway decorating from 2 to 6. Then, on Thursday, March 23rd, there will be a March Madness dance from 6 to 9 p.m. Well, that ends it here for our episode. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe over at Rambler Productions so Miss Shaw gets a mullet or goes bald. Also, we have W bus stickers for $1 that you can purchase from Miss Shaw. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Ramblers. Ramblers.